Light is not a very penetrating form of radiation, and even cloth can block it out, and so it cast a shadow on the skin. Because we can see and feel the sunlight, we know instinctively when to shield ourselves from too much.
is worthy of all the support that you as an individual citizen can give to it. For tomorrow it may be your personal problem, your family problem.
family is the moose. The moose live in the northern forests and swamps of Canada and Alaska, on the western slopes of the Rockies, and even in Maine. The Alaskan moose is the largest kind of moose we know. Bulls such as this one may weigh 1,400 pounds. Hunters like their beautiful antlers. Hundreds of Alaskan natives depend on the moose for much of their meat supply. A six-year-old bull will have fully grown antlers that may spread six feet across. This moose has a six-week growth of antlers. Moose are big eaters. This one may eat 40 pounds or more of willow, birch, aspen leaves, and grass in a day. X 
X-rays can bring about changes in the substances that make up the cells. These changes may injure or kill some of the cells. If the radiation were intense, many cells would be damaged and the whole organism could be affected. Damage to a random few cells is not likely to injure the body's functions. Because we have some understanding of the nature of this penetrating radiation, we can take steps to shield those exposed of the types of drugs I was taking it did. With any other kind of downer drugs, whether it be barbiturates or heroin, I didn't want to be bothered with anybody at all. The stimulants made me very, very uptight all the time, so I didn't like to be around a lot of people. And they give you a complex, any kind of drug, where you don't want to be amongst people and you're afraid everybody's going to do you in.
do not make anything radioactive. As soon as the gamma ray source is back in its lead vault below ground, the garden is free of radiation, and the doors to the garden can open. Men can now go safely about their work, where only a few moments earlier, no creature could have gone unharmed.
Herds of these big animals once roamed the open ranges of North America. They are called bison, or more commonly, buffalo. A hundred years ago, there were more than 60 million buffaloes in the prairies of North America. Today, we find them only on protected ranges in the western United States, in Canada, and in Alaska. One of these animals may weigh as much as a ton. Buffaloes seem to roam aimlessly. That's because they have poor eyesight. They depend upon their hearing and smell to detect danger.
Usually you'll find people that take drugs are kind of weak people. They need something to hang on to. It's a crutch type thing. Actually, you'd have to look at each individual case because everybody takes drugs for different reasons. I took different kind of drugs for many different reasons. I had to spend some time with a psychiatrist. I was lonely, insecure. Everybody else was doing it and I didn't want to be left out. It was kind of a heavy thing. Anybody else have a question? How many different kinds of drugs are there? Amphetamines, barbiturates, hallucinogens, and the hard stuff, opiates. So there's approximately five categories.
can have far-reaching consequences. All life on the surface of the earth continues because each species can reproduce true to its kind. 
Reproduction begins when the egg cell, which contains the hereditary characteristics of the mother, is fertilized by the sperm cell, which carries those of the father.
I was smoking reefers regularly now. Only one a day wasn't enough to keep me happy. But I didn't think anything of it. I could hear Mom coughing at night, and I was determined to send her away to a sanatorium where she could get well.
Even so, large herds still exist in the Yukon and Northwestern territories. A close relative is the reindeer. In fact, it is a domesticated kind of caribou. In North America, reindeer are found only in Alaska. Originally, they were brought in from Siberia. To the Eskimo, reindeer are what steers and cows are to the cattle rancher. In this man-made corral, young reindeer are separated from the fully grown animals. This slow motion scene gives us a good look at these cattle of the North, which provide the Eskimo with meat, milk, and hides. I guess they're called, and they approach certain people and try to get them to buy it from them, 
Well, you think like the approach to get. change not only the structure of matter, but the very nature of life itself. Mm -hmm. 